Welcome to Desktop Publishing Getting Started. This is a complimentary video series designed to work along with the Desktop Publishing webinar series taught by Jeff Wilson. My name is Tom Stranat. I'm the lead digital artist of the Creator Space, and I'm going to take you through some of the uh, technical things with uh, Affinity Designer and how to use the software and just to get started. So for uh, today, what we want to look at is uh, how can we get started with, with the software uh, and where can we uh, find the software. So um, the way it works is Affinity Publisher software can be uh, downloaded and purchased for uh, forever. And it's a low-cost app. Uh, it's about $70 Canadian to purchase, and you can also access it through our digital arts computers at our library partners as well. So a real great way to uh, to work and uh, you know and access uh, um, you know what what you need to to you know do your desktop publishing work. So let's get started. So how do we launch the program? So in Launchpad, I'm going to just find my Affinity Publisher. It's going to launch. Uh, version 1.8.6 is the current version and from here you're going to get this uh, welcome screen and from there we can just click on new document we can decide what we want to do so let's go over what some of the options are so we have print and that will be you know different kind of print options and these are paper formats so you can see there are a formats for european letter legal for our north american uh, what we're familiar with more on the north american side then you can do different uh, posters, one sheet poster, two sheet poster, four sheet poster. Just to give you an idea, that one sheet poster, um, you know, it refers to kind of the old uh, printing co uh, concepts of how big, how many sheets you're using. Uh, the four sheet poster is more of a traditional large poster you'd see in movie theaters. So just to give you kind of the scaling of what that means. Then we can also do business cards, seven inch vinyl, CD booklet, so a whole bunch of presets. So that's really great. Now press ready uh, just takes the uh, the printing and has it press ready. So that gives you the uh, margins and borders and all the extra fun stuff that you need to be press ready. Photo gives us standard photo. Uh, so, you know, four, uh, four by six, four R right here, and that we can design a, in a photo uh, layout. Web gives us web standard graphics, so screen um, resolutions depending on what you need so there's like HD and VGA and so on there's some devices uh, so you can do specifically for iPads Apple Watch you can create exact graphics for these devices and then there's also architectural so these are uh, presets in that mode as well so for my demo I'm going to just go to uh, press ready um, and what we'll do is we're going to create uh, a bit of a book. So what I'll do is uh, let's create that in, um, you know, let's do a like a letter size uh, book so we can be familiar with what we're doing. And I'm going to say uh, how many pages do we want. And so what I'll do is let's do um, 12 pages and I will then hit create. Now what it's done is it's created all the pages. So I have page one, I have page two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, the back page. So by double clicking, I can design each page. Now, the cool thing is, I can also go to master page and I can create an overall master. So that can be, you know, a specific type of uh, background I want to have uh, for the master page. So I can say, you know, um, you know, let's make it, uh, you know, blue background or, you know, this, this kind of different elements to it. Um, so that could be a really fun way to, to master. So what I'm going to do is just go, you know, page by page. And then we have uh, text boxes. So I can do a frame text tool. Um, I can do um, regular uh, uh, picture insertions as well. So picture boxes, uh, text boxes. So what does that look like? So here's a text box. I can add like that and uh, place it anywhere I want. And then I can move it around the screen, make it bigger, or smaller, and I can insert filler text. Now show me, uh, you know, what it, what it looks like in terms of my, my general layout. So that's how we can start to get text going. And then from there, I can create, uh, you know, more text boxes down here and go from text to text. And this is how we can start to lay out our, our text. And as we talked about in the first part 
of the webinar series, it's important to think about your overall design. So how do you want to design this and how do you want the flow, visual flow? How do you want people to look at things? So generally we read from left to right as Jeff talked about. So we want to think about those text boxes working in that kind of a flow from left to right, from page to page and going on like that. Same with our images. So, you know, if you started with a text box, for example, if we had it, um, you know, over, uh, um, if, if we had the text box, you know, like over here somewhere um, and you know, this one we had over this way and this one we had over this way, it could be a little bit confusing to read this and then go down here. You might end up getting people to start here and not start at the top because we read left to right. So again, it's more, um, it's a better idea to I just have a little bit of a rotation here. So that's how we can spin our text around for artistic purposes. Then I'm gonna move this one over here. So this would be the better way to, um, to set it up is so that you'd be reading from left uh, and then down to, and then it's on the right. So left to right. And then that's our natural flow. So that gets us going from left to right and moving in that kind of direction. Um, so what else can we do with text? Um, we can create um, um, text that just gets typed on. Hello. So that's how we can create uh, quick like headlines. You know, so again, we can have a headline. We can have this under here. And let's, again, let's think about our flow. Hello, have some text, text, and we go on from there. And, uh, you know, and so that's, that's how we can start designing with text. And then what kind of text do we want? Um, we can type that in and figure out, uh, you know, what do we want? So we can highlight that. And at the top here, we can decide what kind of fonts we want. You know, so if we want Arial Black, uh, what kind of point sizes we want that to be. Uh, you can see it's very interactive. We can quickly see, you know, making things bigger, smaller, bold, um, you know, so Arial Black, that one. Um, I can decide this one's uh, something else. So I'm just doing Command A to select all. Maybe here I want to, um, you know, I'm going to do just regular Arial. So that'll be kind of like a, a headline and a kind of subtext and then some of the body text there. So that's how we can work with text. So that's how we can get started deciding to make a book and then we continue going on. So we double click this, this is page two, double click page three to work on page three and so on and so forth. We have our margins and we go from there. Now what's important as we go uh, on this journey through desktop publishing is that we wanna be able to always save. So I'm gonna go save as, I'm gonna call this uh, uh, desktop uh, publishing book demo A. And I'm just gonna save it uh, on my, uh, on my uh, uh, external drive here. And within that, I'm gonna make a new folder. And this is always great to organize um, TBMCS desktop publishing, create, and I'm gonna put it right in there. And that's organizing everything so I know exactly where it is. What does that look like? So I'm gonna just Command H to hide that, go to my desktop publishing, and here's my file, 87 kilobytes. So it's a tiny, tiny file. That's the great thing about working in these uh, programs is that you might be making something quite big in terms of a book, but the file size is really nice and small to work with. And that's how we go. So we've saved, we can then exit uh, to take ourselves out of that. So if we're done, so again, we've hit the, the save as, uh, it's already been saved. And what I can do is I can quit and I quit and I'm out of the program and I can resume another time. And that's how we can get started with our desktop publishing. So thanks for joining us for desktop publishing, getting started. And this will be a continuing uh, program of videos. So please check out more videos on our YouTube channel and the ongoing series of webinars. You can view these live and participate, or you can also rewatch them on our YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us at the Creator Space.